Okay, uh, this video is the last in a series on uh, constraint optimization problems. Uh, in the previous video, we uh, looked at uh, the first uh, two examples. Um, so here we're going to start off with uh, example number three. So in example number three, we want to maximize or rather minimize. So the objective function is uh, x plus xy squared uh, subject to the condition that x and y must lie on the curve xy equals to 2, which happens to be a hyperbola. So that curve is going to look something like that. It's got uh, two branches. Okay, so as uh, we presented uh, our procedure, in uh, part one, the first thing we need to do is to make x or y the subject of the formula in the uh, constraint. So uh, here I'm going to make y the subject of the formula. So it's going to be 2 over x, but we've got y squared here. So y squared is going to be 4 over x squared. Then if we substitute, we can now express uh, f in terms of x only so this is going to be x into 4 over x squared then if we simplify that is going to be x into x plus uh, 4 on x so then uh, we need to find the first and the second order derivatives uh, after which we will uh, find the stationary points. So the first order derivative is going to be 1 minus 4x squared. The second order derivative is going to be 8 over x cubed. And then for the stationary points, we take the first order derivative equated to 0 and solve. So here, if we take the 4 on x squared to the right-hand side, it becomes plus. And then if we bring the x squared to the left-hand side, then we have got x squared equals to 4. So this is telling us that x is plus or minus 2. So we've got two stationary points here. So we need to determine which one is minimizing f. So we need to find the one that gives us a minimum. So let's start with uh, x equals to 2. So for the minimum, we need to plug this into the second order derivative here. So that's going to be 8 over 2 cubed. So that's just going to be 8 over 8. This is positive, so it means the graph is concave up when x is equal to 2. So that is uh, going to give us a minimum. Now, just to be on uh, the safe side, just to be sure, uh, let's do the calculation for negative 2 as well. So for negative 2, we're going to have 8 over negative 2 cubed, which is negative 1. So this time, the graph is concave down. So we can see that uh, this one is going to give us a maximum. So the one we're looking for is indeed this one there. Now, when x is equal to 2, the question is uh, what is going to be? The value of y, well, when x is equal to 2, uh, here is the equation relating x and y. So when x equals to 2, y is going to be equal to 1. And uh, then the minimum value of f, we can obtain <coughs> by just plugging x equals to 2 in this function which is in terms of x only so it's going to be 2 
plus 4 over 2. Um, so that is going to be uh, 2 plus 4 over 2. So the minimum value of f is going to be equal to 4. All right. Okay. So at this point, uh, we're going to give you a chance to have a go at uh, number 4 and number 5. Okay. So if you just want to pause the video, uh, go through this, work through them. And then when you continue the video, you can compare with our solution. All right, uh, we're not going to scroll down to our solutions for number four and number five. So for number four, the objective function is x, y squared. We want to maximize this subject to the condition that x and y must be on this straight line here. Um, we see that uh, y is squared, x is not squared, so we make x a subject of the formula. In the constraint equation, we plug this into the objective function. And now objective function depends on y only. So then uh, we find the first order derivative and the second order derivative. We take the first order derivative and equate it to zero to find the stationary points. Um, we find that there are two stationary points here. One is zero. The other one is 180. Okay, when x is zero, uh, the second order derivative uh, here is 1080. So that tells us that uh, the function is concave up here so we've got a local minimum uh, when x is 180 uh, the second order derivative is negative so we have got a local maximum so the value we're looking for is going to be this one because we are maximizing this time then plugging uh, this into the equation for x here we find that uh, x must also be equal to 180 because we're going to have 540 minus 2 times 180 minus 2 times 180 so y or rather x must also be <clears throat> 180 and so the maximum value of f is going to be given by 180 cubed because uh, we've got x times y squared. And now they are both equal to 180. Okay. Then in number 5, we want to minimize the function x squared plus 4xy. All right. So we want to minimize this uh, subject to the condition that x and y must uh, lie on uh, this curve here which is going to be a uh, hyperbola again now we can make y the subject of the formula here and uh, so if we plug it in here then this is going to depend on only x uh, first order derivative is going to be 2x minus 16 on x squared the second order derivative is going to be 2 plus 32 on x cubed for the stationary points, we take the first order derivative and equate it to zero. So from here, if we take the 16x to the right hand side, then we're going to take the x squared to the left hand side. So we're going to have 2x cubed equal to 16. And then dividing by 2 on both sides, this tells us that x cubed is equal to 8. And then from there, x is equal to 2. Um, if we plug this into the second order derivative here, we find 6. So this is telling us that at that point, the graph is concave up, which is uh, the minimum that we are looking for. And then if we plug in x equals to 2, 
into the equation for y here, uh, then this is telling us that y is going to be 1. And uh, the minimum value of f, when x is 2 and y is 1, f is equal to 12. And uh, that uh, brings us to the end of that. Thank you for watching. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe. And uh, we will uh, talk to you in the next video. Thank you.